researchers are proposing a new hydrocity concept aimed at creating a sustainable economy by not only generating electricity with solar energy but also producing and storing hydrogen from superheated water for round-the-clock power production. The proposed hydrocity concept represents a potential breakthrough solution for continuous and efficient power generation, said Rakesh Agrawal. Purdue University's Winthrop E. Stone Distinguished Professor in the School of Chemical Engineering, who worked with chemical engineering doctoral student Emra Jenker and other researchers. The concept provides an exciting opportunity to envision and create a sustainable economy to meet all the human needs including food, chemicals, transportation, heating, and electricity. Hydrogen can be combined with carbon from agricultural biomass to produce fuel, fertilizer, and other products. If you can borrow carbon from sustainably available biomass you can produce anything, electricity, chemicals, heating, food, and fuel, Agrawal said. Hydrocity uses solar concentrators to focus sunlight, producing high temperatures and superheating water to operate a series of electricity generating steam turbines and reactors for splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen would be stored for use overnight to superheat water and run the steam turbines, or it could be used for other applications, producing zero greenhouse gas emissions. Traditionally electricity production and hydrogen production have been studied in isolation, and what we have done is synergistically integrate these processes while also improving them, Agrawal said. The PNAS paper was authored by Jenker, former chemical engineering graduate student Tarek S. Malapragata, Frank, OIS Mayer, Chal, a professor and chemical process engineer from E. Cole Polytechnique F.E. de Raul de Lausanne in Switzerland. Mohita Warmalani, a professor, and Allison and Nancy Schleicher Chair of Management at Purdue's Cranert School of Management, and Agrawal. In superheating, water is heated well beyond its boiling point in this case from 1000 to 1300 degrees Celsius, producing high temperature steam to run turbines and also to operate solar reactors to split the water into hydrogen and oxygen.